Thanks for joining us on Denver 7 News at 11. I'm Brian Sanders. Months and months of offers and hours spent at the negotiation table. And just hours ago, the workers union announced they have finally reached an offer from King Supers. A statewide vote on that offer could now happen within the next few days. We want to get straight to Denver 7's Micah Smith with the latest on what could mean an end to a possible strike here. Brian, we reached out to the media contact who's representing the King Super employees, and he told us negotiations are still going through the finalization phase, but as soon as they finish up, they'll be sure to provide us with an official statement. In the meantime, the union posted on social media saying, after 37 hours of bargaining this weekend, we have secured a final offer with King Super City Market. Details and a statewide vote, locations, those will all be posted soon. And King Super's also released a statement telling us King Super City Market and the the UFCW Local 7 have reached a tentative agreement. This is good news for our associates, customers, and communities. This agreement will affect 12,200 associates at 104 stores in Colorado. Yesterday afternoon, King Supers released some information regarding their current offer on the table. The company says they will invest more than $117 million in wages, health care, and pension benefits over a three-year term. Now, negotiations were held behind closed doors. We did ask the union for comment on this tentative agreement. They declined doing any on-camera interviews at this time. Live in Denver, Micah Smith, Denver 7.